All right, guys, here we go. We got a first look at the new Jimmy Johnson NASCAR. Uh, it's gonna be the same piece of junk as all the other NASCARs, but uh, we've released a brand new uh, event to win it, tied in with a top speed challenge for the team event at the same time. So, earn it for free. All right. Gonna give it to you if you earn it. All upgrades will stay. They say that the upgrade that the uh, 2017 NASCARs have less downforce than the 2016s, which makes them even more junky than the 2016s were in the first place. Uh, supposedly they go faster on the straights, but I reckon you can come out of a corner quicker in a 2016 than you can in a 2017 and it probably means that by the end of the straight or at least by midway on the straight that there's that the 2016 is faster anyway all right so we'll start the upgrades and uh, we're not going to race that one because that's a good way to destroy the car we'll start with the least damaging and work our way up so this one there's not going to be a best track to select from there is uh not going to be any decision in it at all basically you are just going to get to uh, upgrade your car as quick as you can within the 24 hour period 25 hour period of the team comp and uh, and run the events um, as far in as you can hopefully finding something that's uh, that's at Day daytona because that is going to be the, probably the fastest place we can get a speed in these vehicles uh, we're unlikely to get a chance at spa so we'll see what we get from a minute and two seconds for a uh, for an autocross, quite a long autocross. Yep, it's a NASCAR. It's about the same as all the other NASCARs. What a surprise. At the end of the day, we've got 15 odd vehicles now, um, which are almost identical except for the, uh, except for the sponsors just seems to be completely pointless. Tell you what, the only thing worse than uh, than a NASCAR race is is a, uh, a non-NASCAR race that doesn't use the uh, the drafting physics on a NASCAR track. Sending a result, and there is our first speed posted to the team comp, 248. Actually, you know, I bag on NASCAR all the time, but uh, it's really NASCAR tracks that I hate most. Uh, I don't see a lot of point in having all of these almost identical vehicles as uh, as part of the, uh, or the the game. But yeah, they're working the market, right? It's the biggest damn sport in the world, which is insane. Uh, so they're just trying to I get trying to draw some dollars out of that, I suppose. But the NASCAR cars aren't nearly as bad as the NASCAR tracks. Uh, you run them on the road courses at uh, at Daytona or at uh, at uh, uh, Indianapolis, and and they actually perform pretty well. Um, I enjoy driving them on on those tracks. It's uh, and if we had drafting physics in all cases, it'd be even better. But uh, we don't. We get drafting physics in NASCAR only, and. Uh, and we have to deal with those NASCAR tracks, both with and without the drafting physics. So, it is what it is. All right, we'll uh, we'll run through the second uh, event here as part of the win the Jimmy Johnson Chevrolet SS. Just by the way, a Chevrolet SS, it is uh, almost the same car as a Commodore, uh, a Holden Commodore. So uh, obviously the NASCAR version is, is not the street version. But uh, it's it's on it's on my watch list for for if I ever get around to getting a uh, a four door family saloon. <clears throat> Nothing surprising about this car. Uh, brake points are all exactly the same as as everything else uh, in the same PR bracket. It's not got the ridiculous stopping zones of the uh, of the Super V8s.
a little more gentle around the corners than you were in last year's NASCARs, but that's about it. I'd like to point out here at the Nürburgring's uh, tracks, we were conned. This is not the actual Nürburgring circuits. None of them are. This is some other track system that's in the same area or, or something. Should do some research on that. sure everybody was asking for the Nürburgring. That's why they put it in, due to uh, user demand. This one's obviously uh, a much better option for them to put in the game, really. I mean, it, it gives them, I think, four tracks. They got a, they got this, the Mullen Bash Cleef, or however you say it. They got the GP circuit, they got the, uh, the national circuit, and do they have a club as well? I'm not sure off the top of my head. Um, obviously, that gives them a lot of track variations. Um, with only one build. So it works well for the game. Alright guys, so no no addition to the speed there uh, around Mullenbash Cleef. Not surprising. Uh, you're going to get much faster around uh, uh, around Daytona than, than you could have possibly there. So that's what we're going to post to the team uh, challenge for now. Uh, I'll be moving on to that uh, that cup, that NASCAR cup next up. Um, I think that said it was Richmond, so I don't anticipate getting a better speed there either. I have to wait till we break on through to tiers two and above to, uh, to see if we can get a real shot at, uh, at uh, Daytona's straights there, or, or isn't straights. All right, guys, that's been me. See you.